When you look at the state of Washington right now... That'll make you ill right there. Well, exactly. What do you make of it all? I mean, you've, you've been through... You're Canadian. You've never been an American citizen, but you've been through 11 American presidents since you've lived here. Why have you never become an American citizen? All those lines I had to learn to... I swear allegiance to that, and I had to memorize that stuff. <laughs> no, seriously, why have you never? <laughs> well, that's the reason. I'm the just reason. sort of basically, I'm sort of proud of the idea that I'm Canadian. Right. And uh, Canada is this wonderful country to the north, mm. and we contribute a great deal to the American uh, uh, culture, mm. and, uh, and we're part of the American culture, although we're uniquely Canadian. Well, what do you and make I'm of the whole, never mind all the debt standoff and so what did you make of the Obamacare dispute? We don't know. Ponder the mystery of Obamacare. Uh, will it be less money, or will it be? Will it cost us, or will it not cost us? We, we're told by experts. So we need to wait and see. If in time that we see that costs are, be, uh, are increasing, we have to do something about it. But if Obama is correct and uh, that health program lessens uh, the cost of of this extraordinary. Uh, accounting of, uh, of medical costs, then we're home free. How would Captain James T. Kirk run America right now if he was president? Fire them all and have a new election. Given what the American people and polls are saying, there would be a really irrational decision to have elections.